delegates from Macquarie University are back at the University of Hamburg to mark our four-year collaboration over the uh, Transnational Media History um, project. And we're also here to all uh, meet um, our new collaborators from Fudan University in Shanghai. We're holding a series of activities, both the workshop and the student poster sessions. And yesterday we also have a very interesting and fruitful working business meeting and we set this agenda for the next year. We call it a two-day lab of media history, transnational media history. What is a port city? You know from the media and everything is communicated. That means that a lot of communication around things like yeah, a port city takes place. It's very strange to be here because I'm in a an opera house style place in the harbour. It's so much like Sydney. So you know Shanghai and uh, Hamburg and Sydney, all harbour cities. Uh, we think in this uh, international uh, new technology really changed this, uh, society so fast. So we think communication should become a very important social change uh, force. Uh, to make the difference of the uh, young people's life and of future. Maybe the most <laughs> different thing is the building style. I think it's much different from Shanghai. What's called a harbour, it's really a river. And uh, I, I loved going down to that area. It's very full of life and there's always something different happening down in that area. St Pauli and the, the what's it called, the Reaper Barn, which is well known in popular culture and music. In Hamburg, we have two institutions. They deal with Port City, they deal with Hamburg as the gateway to the world. In China, for the Port City and for the Harbour City, the town is very really far away from the coastal area. But in Hamburg, I can just go to the seaside, feel the windy weather. Shanghai. Um, it's the biggest city in China, but it's also the traditional city in China. It's very international, uh, but it still have very strong local identity and the local culture. It's um, very difficult to um, not uh, look now to look beyond national borders and look at the way in which um, flows of media and communication take place in the new media providers such as um, Google, Facebook, Twitter, etc. That they're not really confined by national boundaries. By saying harbour city, I'm not saying that physically it has a harbour. Harbour city is a very interesting metaphor in the sense that it's a, it's a gathering point. Yeah.